Hi guys, uh, it's me Ashwin here and uh, in this video I'm gonna you know, show you how to actually install an operating system uh, onto a netbook using a flash drive. So the first thing you need to do is uh, download the file from link1 uh, that's, that's uh, uh, unet boot in so just download the file, open it up and this is the, uh, this is the window that's gonna pop up so over here you're gonna you're gonna have to select disk image, uh, select ISO, and click on the three dots. Navigate to where, wherever it is that you have. Uh, what do you say? You have your operating system stored. The ISO file of Windows 7, Windows 7 is the OS I'm going to be using over here. And then right below you've got type USB drive, and under drive you've got the drive letter. For example. My transcend, I mean, okay. Uh, my transcend drive is the K drive, so I've got it as K drive over here. So you just need to click on OK. You don't have to mess with anything else over here. Click on OK. So it's gonna take some time over here. Uh, it can take up to five, five, ten minutes, and it, it would say not responding at the start. So don't worry about it. Give it some time. Uh, I'll be back with you once this is done. Okay, uh, now that uh, the process is complete, uh, it'll ask you whether you need to, you want to reboot. Don't do that because we're not going to actually, you know, install anything on this computer, on the computer right now. So go ahead, click on exit. Okay, so now uh, you can pull out your USB drive. Okay, the first thing you need to do is turn on your notebook and hit, keep hitting F2 so that you enter the setup the BIOS setup so this varies from notebook to notebook let me just zoom in a bit yeah uh, basically what you need to do over here is you need to find something uh, it's usually under boot find something called boot device priority and you need to make sure that USB is above the HDD so how this works is when your uh, netbook or ultrabook boots up uh, it's gonna scan uh, for a bootable operating system and if the hard disk is given priority over the USB drive it's gonna boot up your existing OS it's not gonna check the USB drive so make sure that the USB drive has a higher priority and uh, once you're done that just plug the USB drive in and uh, press escape go on to exit save changes uh, yeah save changes and reset hit yes okay guys so now we have the pen drive uh, we've got the OS installed on, I mean OS files on the pen drive uh, so you just pop it in to the USB port alright so now we just turn it on Okay, so that's Windows booting up. So after this, it's just going to be the basic installation of Windows. The one, I mean, whatever we follow for the desktops. So you know, in case you're new to installing Windows, let me just show you what needs to be done. Hit install now. And I've got a I've got a 40 gig 40 gig uh, solid state drive in this, so I'm gonna have to format it and I'm going to install it fresh so accept the license terms click on next uh, I'm going to go for the custom advanced I'm going to select drive options in case you need to format it go to drive options and hit format and now hit next so it's just gonna go ahead and install and once the installation is, is done I'll get back to you guys okay now the installation is done and uh, Windows is rebooting so let's just give it a couple of minutes and we should be good to go
So yeah, I just go ahead, type in a name. Okay, my password. So uh, Windows reboots once you download the settings. Sorry about that, people. That's my dog in the background. You know, I've got someone over and he's a little bit excited. So that's it, people. You've got Windows 7 up. So you just need to go ahead, do your basic setup, you know, change the resolution, get any drivers you needed installed as per your laptop or netbook. So uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's it for installing an operating system off a pen drive. Uh, in case you have any kind of questions or you run into any kind of issues while doing this, uh, leave a comment or send me a message or email me at ash at cursedforever.com that's ash at cursed c u r s c d the number 4 e v a dot com or you can hit me up on twitter at cursed forever uh, thanks a lot for watching uh, uh, you guys have a great day and before you go just uh, hit like and subscribe to my videos guys thank you bye bye now